everyone, I'm Tori, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about why Shopify is a better e-commerce platform for artists. I have gone back and forth off WordPress to Shopify, off Squarespace, just to try and sell my artwork online and display my portfolio. And it's been a mess because I've noticed that some platforms have more to offer than the other, and there's a big learning curve. But I noticed that Shopify was the most intuitive and easy to use of all of them I've tried, and I'll tell you why. But first, let me start with why Squarespace is great and or not so great for artists. So the reason why I actually enjoyed using Squarespace was because it's highly customizable. The interface is super intuitive and you can make your website look as unique as you want to while letting your creative flag fly. That is something that is super important when you're looking to make an appealing website. Um, the thing that I also loved about Squarespace was that it's awesome for services. So if you are a artist or creative business that's purely offering services, I kind of recommend Squarespace for this one because there is more that you can create and add that make your services more appealing online. And if you're just charging simple uh, cart buttons with like three different options for checkouts for your pricing, it's really straightforward and easy and they have a great integration with um, calendar services as well, such as Acuity. The last thing is that it's just like super easy to use and uh, the prices are quite low for Squarespace. So um, it, you don't have to think twice about signing on to it. There isn't a massive learning curve. There are a ton of designers out there who are really well versed in Squarespace that can support you with this. But there's also a downside with Squarespace, which I found, which led me to leave the platform multiple times to display my artwork. And the first one is there's like no suggestions or help. I found that it was really tough to get in, get in touch with customer service and there weren't a lot of help options out there to try and make the most of my website. I want to, yes, sell my artwork and my creative services, but I also wanted, you know, a genius of sort to encourage me to try new options and I just didn't really see it there. The other thing is that shipping was a nightmare. Now I'm in Canada, so I didn't get to benefit off of the automatic calculations with the US Squarespace site. And so I had to pre-calculate my shipping, my weight and everything, and then ended up just losing money in the long run. And I never really used it anyways. I sort of just tallied it into the price later on, which is a great strategy for now, which I can go into at a later date, but shipping was a nightmare. And lastly, I just didn't feel like Squarespace is really set up for e-commerce that well. Because of the lack of app integrations that I found to sort of like move the needle on my customers purchasing artwork, I just found that it didn't support me and provide me with the education that I potentially needed when I was learning how to set up a really successful e-commerce platform. So I'm gonna tell you now why I like Shopify as a preferable platform for artists. Now, a lot of artists that I follow or interact with aren't really open to e-commerce because number one, maybe they're stuck in traditional platform, which is working with a gallery, but I highly encourage artists to sell their own work and not sign a clause where you can't with a gallery. So unless they've proven otherwise, and that's totally up to you, and what you wanna do and how you wanna run your creative services. However, if you are an artist or a creative business person and you're looking to set up an e-commerce platform, I recommend Shopify. Number one, it was pretty easy to use. If you're just building like the plain old, I'm gonna build an e-com shop and not get too into the integrations and all that stuff, it's like very easy to use and there's a lot of help available to you. There's a lot of great phenomenal support system, including live chat um, or email support who actually see you through all the way to discussing you and sharing your help or your inquiries with different team members across the company. And I found that really easy and really helpful. And the answers came really quickly. I didn't have to wait a week. Usually they happened that day. I even had the support team build out different customizable options in my website. For example, I wanted to have my art that had been sold automatically populate into my sold artwork category. And it did that. I, it wasn't something I was able to do on my own. I'm not a developer. I don't know how to use the back end. But the help team and support team was able to do that for me free of charge, which was pretty great. The last thing is I really love their app integration. So not only do they provide you great education on learning more about how to capitalize your e-commerce platform, um, and even though it's not necessarily totally designed for artists, you can take what you want and apply it to yourself. 
Um, but there's so many app integrations like online courses that you can bring in. There's really great email marketing tactics, um, really awesome sort of last sale add-ons that you can create when people are at the checkout that really support you in capitalizing your business online. However, I did come across a few reasons why Shopify was not so great for artists, and these are the reasons why. I found I was pretty restricted in creating a website that I actually really wanted to use, so I missed the highly customizable pages that I could create with Squarespace. Um, so my pages are less interesting, but it makes me get to the point a lot quicker. Um, I am a creative business service and product, and so I really missed that capability of making my pages beautiful with my words. And um, the other thing that I really didn't like was that there was a learning curve for e-commerce. I had to understand how it worked. I had to get a little bit into coding, not too much that I couldn't Google, but there was some things that I could have done better had I known a little bit more about e-commerce. Ultimately, it's totally up to you and what you want to create and what you're pivoting and sharing as a business online. Squarespace may fit your needs a lot better than Shopify does. I've just noticed in the long run with somebody who offers both, both services and products, that Shopify was able to take the mark on all fronts for me in that direction. So I encourage you to try out both and do your research. But if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Um, let me know what your opinion is. If you prefer Squarespace, let me know and make a comment and like and share this with individuals who are also looking to build out their website as a creative service. Uh, but for now, would love for you to subscribe so you don't miss a beat. And we'll be back with more information for you on how to profit up your creative service. See ya.